So they shared this document with me and they're happy for me to share this as well, by the way. So this is news to me today, but I, I found this out. So this is their testing they did on a few different cars uh, after my after that SEAL video. So BYD Auto 3 completed all tests smoothly, charging, discharging, transitions were stable, automation sequences executed without issues. So that's good, BYD Auto 3. Hyundai Kona, also good, uh, charge, discharge normally. Um, no problem. Uh, BYD SEAL performance with a Tesla upgrade. So this is where it gets interesting, guys. So uh, by Tesla upgrade, that means this is the car, like my previous BYD SEAL, where it had the the retrofit for the superchargers, right? So that means this car, not the SEAL you saw in my video, but this test showed that the SEAL that's been upgraded uh, had issues uh, activating the V2G protocol or the V2G setup. So this presents a problem, right? So a BYD seal that's been retrofitted for Tesla compatibility uh, could not do V2G functions anymore. So this presents a real problem because if we want BYD Auto 3 owners to have the same upgrade, then you might actually have issues with V2X down the line. So unfortunately, if if this is true, if obviously we need to test some more, but if this is true, then We've got to make these Auto 3 owners and potentially SEAL owners choose. I'm sure the new SEALs, which hasn't been tested yet, but the, the post-2024 SEALs probably can do both. But just these early BYDs guys that just, unfortunately, they just got to choose at the moment, which is really unfair, I think.